Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Aaron's Art Tips. Uh, it's been a while, so um, uh, I'm in a new studio now, and I'm really excited to get back and you know throwing some of my art tips back at you guys. Uh, we've had a great year, and uh, you know all of us over at the Art of Aaron Blaze are really excited about the upcoming year. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up, and uh, but we thought you know I thought I'd, I'd do something really short and sweet today and talk to you about perspective, remembering your perspective when you're drawing. Uh, faces or you're know, drawing your characters. A lot of times what I see in, in portfolios are or younger people portfolios or, or portfolios from younger people are um, you might get a lot of you know nice character work and that sort of thing but a lot of times and it can really throw the whole drawing off I'll get drawings that are out of whack. The perspective is out of whack. The eye line is one way, the nose line is someplace else, the mouth line is someplace else. And if you forget about those things, it can really throw the drawing off. And it will also flatten the drawing out, okay? So if, if you can remember your perspective and get it right, it'll give a lot of depth to your, to your, uh, to your drawing. So I thought I'd jump in here and show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and jump in here. And I'm gonna throw in a new layer. And let's just start with a head, all right? So um, I'm just gonna draw a head and I'm gonna construct it in a way about thinking about the perspective. And this is how you guys should think, uh, think about your perspective. So once again, just like I always do, start with my basic shapes. And here I've got head coming in, start with that circle. Okay, ear here, got a cheekbone coming in. Now, I'm already gonna start thinking about perspective here. Let's say I've got an eye line that's gonna go about like that, okay? So my perspective, I'm gonna be thinking about it in this way, okay? Now, there's perspective going in that direction, but there's also perspective going in this direction, okay? And I wanna think about that too, because that head isn't a perfect circle. It's, it's shaped a little bit more like a, you know, a more oval shape, oblong. So it's gonna go back a little ways. We've got the jaw line that comes in here, okay? So we've got that. So now I've drawn in that eye line. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the brow, the, the brow ridges in. And what this does by, by putting that perspective in there, it's gonna tell me where to put my brow ridges in. And once again, I'm just keeping this very, very rough. I'm just drawing planes. Okay, so here the forehead comes down. And so already I'm keeping that, it's already getting a sense of depth, okay? Now, let's draw a center line in there, okay? We'll come in here and we'll pull that nose out. Well, if we think about the skull, you know, there's a, a line comes like that. And so we're gonna have the, the rest of the nose come out and here, come in. Maybe we have a nostril that comes down like so. All right, now let's, what about the eye? So we'll bring the eye in, like so. Maybe an eyelid coming up. And following that perspective, remembering that perspective, we can get that other eye, like so, okay? Now, let's think about the, the mouth. So, you can pull these cheek lines down, coming off the nose if you want. And coming out here, off that center line, I've got that top lip that's gonna come out. Back this way. And that bottom lip will come out and draw on that center line. Like so. Now thinking about perspective, that line will come back in here, coming into the chin. And thinking about the corner of the mouth, the cor there's a corner here and a corner over here that kind of wraps around, but I'm keeping that in perspective. And here, I want that cheek bone to break up here in this area. And if I pull this back, I can see, well, maybe I want to pull this down a little lower so it'll feel a little bit more like I'm following the perspective right. Okay, let's get that chin like so. We can draw neck, the neck in there. So we got that, that, that. You know, see the mouth line, everything, the, even the chin, everything is lining up. Now, 
let's shrink this up a little bit because we can pull this all the way down into the shoulders. So let's say we bring this down. We've got his trapezius muscle coming down off the neck into his shoulder, coming down like this. Well, once again, since we know our perspective, we're going to draw that line out. Well, that other shoulder will then fall because we know the perspective. It's going to fall right about in there. Okay, when, and the collarbone will come in. The neck is coming down. We'll have a collarbone there, collarbone coming up there. And following perspective, let's say we get that chest in there. Following that perspective down, the other part of the chest will come in over here, the pe uh, pectoralis muscle. Okay, so you got all of this happening like so. All right, so that's how you know I think about if I'm drawing figures. Now, granted, this guy, he's just staring straight ahead. So the perspective is relatively easy, but you can, you can twist the character around and, the, and the, the torso of the body as it twists, it's still gonna have perspective to it. It's just, the, the perspective will vary. But especially when you're thinking about that face, remember where those lines go, okay? Remember how to keep things in line. Especially, let's do another one real quick. Especially, let's, let's have a character, let's say we have a, Let's say we have a cat, a big cat, okay? And we're gonna have a, it's kind of a slightly upshot, slight upshot coming up here. There you go. And then the, the brow is gonna come over here. Now what you can see I'm doing, notice how I'm drawing, I'm drawing this cat. Here's my perspective going this way. And then we're gonna go back this way coming back that way. You notice how I'm drawing them without the muzzle because I want to, I'm thinking about this in plane. So the, the cheekbones of the cat are going to come in like so. Now I don't have to worry about a whole lot in here, but I still want to make sure it's in the right perspective because now I'm going to, and this is what I do all the time. This is how I keep things in perspective. So I'm thinking about, okay, here's the eye, there's that, whoops. And then I'm going to add the nose. I'm thinking about that snout coming out towards me. And then that nose, coming down like so. And once again, see the line work? I'm keeping that nose in the right perspective, like so. There we go, coming down. And actually, I'm gonna bring this eye up a hair, get a little, there we go. And then, Pull. Let's open the mouth. Like so. Pull this down. Get that chin in there. And pull that back. Okay? Now, this is very rough. But now, what I, but the reason I wanted to open this mouth is because this is another thing that people tend to forget. And that is, you know, teeth and things like that. So as the mouth opens up, you got to remember, I've got a jaw. You know, that jaw back here, that's, it's like a hinge, and that comes back. So there's a jaw hinge back in here. Let's get that chin in there. And then we got teeth. Let me erase this out a little bit so we can see the teeth. Now the teeth, you know, we've got all this perspective going in this direction. So I want to make sure these teeth stay in perspective. You know, that'll keep everything nice and clean. Even the tongue, as I draw the tongue in. Let's go ahead. Throw a layer under these there. I'll darken that up a little bit so you can see what it is I'm trying to do. There. There we go. And we'll put that ear, maybe he's got his ears folded back, back in here somewhere. And the neck, nice bulging neck. Coming down. So a lot of times, this is how I start out my rough drawing. And I'm gonna look at the corner there, there's a corner, there's a corner, staying in perspective. You know, I get everything roughed in. I'm thinking about that plane there. Get everything roughed in like so. So that 
you know, I'm, I'm always adjusting the, the rough sketch, getting it to look right. Let's get that in there. We'll get a nice, there we go. So now I can knock that back. I can knock that opacity back. I'm gonna knock this opacity back too. And I can throw a layer on top. And now, now that I've worked out all the perspective and I've got everything roughed in, now I can come in and I can come in and just relax and get that drawing looking nice and clean and not worry about, oh, am I drawing the perspective right? Is the depth looking right? Because I've already done that work. So you, you know, try to get in the habit of breaking up your workflow in that way. It's like, okay, right now I'm gonna just rough it in and I'm gonna worry about you know, getting the perspective right. All right, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is once I get that, now I can sit down and kind of work out the details and everything will look really, really nice. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. Get that brow up. And you can, we can work on that eye. So anyway, so that's, and I go through and work the whole thing. So that's how I work out my perspective. Make sure you're doing that. When you're drawing your characters, when you're drawing your animals, uh, even their feet touching the ground, make, make sure everything in the image is following that perspective. Remember, <clears throat> when the perspective is done right, when, the, when everything lines up, your depth will look good. When it's off, something it, the viewer will look at it and it'll, it'll it, it, it it makes the viewer uncomfortable and it it'll flatten out the image okay so that's it for today go out and um do some drawing remember your perspective enjoy it and i'll talk to you next time thanks bye hey thanks for watching if you liked what you saw please hit the red subscribe button down below spread the word and also if there's something that you're not seeing that you'd like to see let us know we'd love to hear from you thanks a lot